Hey guys, how y'all doing? We are back to our Case A and B 2018 series. We're gonna bust out menu number 21, and this is like a fan favorite. It is tuna chunk light water packed lemon pepper. Oh my God, that is a mouthful. But anyway, it is tuna. This is definitely a hit or miss ration for everybody out in the field. You either love it or you hate it. Well, let's bust into it. And one thing we're going to look at, man, is this right here, Ameriqual. Even though this came out of a Sepako case, it is Ameriqual. You got to love contractors. Boy, just put any, boy, just put anything in a box, huh? All right, get our hands in there. Like, who are they fooling? We're gonna make a camouflage show it. Tactical tuna, yeah. I might wanna trademark that, tactical tuna. All right, we got our tactical tuna, tactical Charlie. It is lemon pepper. Corn nuggets, I happen to love these things. When we were in Spain, they were called Kikos. Tortillas plain. Why can't we get some Chipotle tortillas? Just once. Spoon. Mayonnaise. Accessory packet. Vanilla pound cake. Lemon lime beverage base powder. Cheese spread. And that is it. At least this one. One nice thing, you get two drinks. Toilet paper. Moist towelette. Gum. Salt. And what do we have here? Beverage base raspberry type three. And you can see this ration came with no FRH whatsoever. So I guess they mean that you're going to eat this cold like you would with any other tuna fish. And like with most of my stuff, we may or may not add some extra fixings to make this stuff taste even better. So let's get some drinks made, some stuff prepped and uh, let's get some stuff onto a tray so we can start chowing down. Try to open these things up without breaking them. And that's the huge downfall of these. They're folded so that split just wants to immediately break unless if you can heat these things up. Now these can always be a challenge because they usually pack these all the way up to the tear notches, just like that. So you can try to force it down as much as possible, but uh, you're rarely ever going to succeed. So we're gonna, sorry Charlie, cut your head off. Pull that down, see man, and this just stuff all the way to the top and even on this flap. And we're gonna remove like that. Mmm, tuna. All right, what we're going to try to do, we're going to try to get most of this down to the bottom. So clean that up, break it up a little bit so it doesn't come out in a slab, even though it's still all stuck down here at the bottom. Make just a colossal pain in the tuchus. But if you can crush it like that and force most of these little bits out of these corners, you can almost make like a cup or a bowl. So that way, if you wanted to grab your mayonnaise, put it inside of here and mix it up, which is what we're going to try to attempt. So I'll set that right there, grab my mayo. And I know a lot of people don't use the mayo for various reasons, but what the heck, we're going to do it just because it's in this ration. 
and we'll give that a mix as much as possible. Well, we did our best and we are slowly going to put it on a tortilla. And we still have enough for the second one. Smooth that out. It's got all of that stuff in there. Good to go. And we still have some of this cheese. Which, if you ask some people, putting cheese on fish is like just like kicking a nun right in the teeth. So we're just going to try this on its own first. Try not to split our tortilla. And this does have mayonnaise in it, but it has a slight kind of a lemon flavor. We're going to grab a little bit of these cheese right here. Come on, get off of there. Jeez. We'll kick it up with a little bit of chili lime. Again, thanks, John, for sending this to me. Super appreciate it. A dash of salt. I will give this one a go. Mmm. Look at all that yummy goodness. That's really good, too. It just has no crunch to it grab some of these corn nuts. We're going to put some of them in there. That'll give it a good crunch factor. Put a ton in there too. The more the better. Completely changes the texture. Now you got them little crunchy bits in there. They're salty too as well. Nice and fried little corn bits. Man, good stuff. I've had this sitting in here, man, trying to dissolve and there is still a nice little lump on the bottom. We'll grab our spoon, clean that thing out. Put that in there again. Try to get all that to absorb in there. That's why you never put the stuff inside of a canteen or your water bladder. You will just stain the crap out of it. Let's give that a go. Well, for day glow green or a uh, PT Bell Green. It's not bad. It's nice and cool. A little hint of lemon, maybe a little hint of lime. Outside of that, I guess it goes well with this. What is it? Lemon pepper tuna. I'm going to scarf the rest of this down. It's pretty tasty. And of course, there was nothing to be super creative with trying to spruce up your vanilla pound cakes. <laughs> it just is what it is. These taste so much better when they're heated up because they're not as crumbly, brittle. But you got to do what you got to do. Let's down the hatch. Yeah, when these things are not heated up, they just kind of turn to like a very fine powdery sand in your mouth. They just really crumble apart, which is... If you like cake or something like that, it's <laughs> totally different texture. Well, we'll make up this last one. Like I, This is a very simple ration. I mean, there's not a lot of frills. There's not a lot of anything to, to put or do on this. It just... That's just the way it is. And this is such a pain in the butt to get everything out of here. You would think that they would use a, a different type of packaging. You know, I mean, like the standard retort pouch, you know, where it opened on the side. Well, I guess you could cut this on the side. What am I talking about? Maybe I'm just lazy. Actually, cutting it on the side is brilliant. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll try that next time. I am running low on these 2018s. The 2019 rations are exactly the same except for the only menu change is goulash. So I think I'm going to wait till the 2020 cases to come out before I do another one of these series. Because hopefully some stuff has changed or some recipes have changed a little bit. Just so we're not sitting here doing the same exact rations over and over and over because yes, they do get monotonous. And like I said, when I was in the army, I got so sick of eating these things. I pretty much just lived off beef jerky. So if anybody out there happens to have their hands on some 2020 case A and Bs, uh, let me know. Maybe we can uh, wangle up a deal or something. Don't steal them. Don't do anything illegal. Nothing like that, please. Well, everybody, this was menu number 21 of our 2018 case A and B series. Tuna, chunk, light, water, packed, lemon, pepper. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. I'm going to chow this down for the rest of my lunch, and I will see you all on my next review.
Bye. Mm, hot sauce.